Hey folks, this is Vince and Adelie with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly check out Torpedo Dice. This is a game for one to four players, it's for ages eight and up, and the average play time is roughly 15 minutes. So what is Torpedo Dice? Well, it is a roll, draft, and write game that puts you in the shoes of a submarine captain, and your objective is going to be trying to sink your opponent's submarine. Each player will receive a board, like so. Um, you're inside a submarine from this viewpoint, and the submarine that you're looking at through this window is your opponent's submarine, and you're trying to target various spaces in order to sink it. You're aiming for these spaces with the little target symbol on them. Any other spot on the board is a miss, and I'll get to that in a little bit. Each submarine has different systems too, like there's a periscope, there's some windows, there's torpedo tube launchers here and those correspond to a submarine systems. These are special abilities that you and your opponent can use in order to modify dice, okay? So in a nutshell, destroy your opponent's submarine. That's what you're trying to do. Here's a quick look at the rule book. Um, it comes in like a gazillion languages other than Spanish, uh, German, anything European basically. Um, so this is the English portion of the rule book and it's roughly, I want to say seven or eight pages or so, okay? There is a solo mode, which spans roughly two pages. There's also two ways to play. The yellow side is the basic side, and the red side is the more advanced side. You can see that the submarine is slightly bigger on this side. You've also got more abilities that you can use. Um, a main difference also between the two boards is that in the basic game, all of your systems are on automatically and can only be taken offline when they are destroyed by your opponent. On the red side, on the advanced side, your systems start off and in place of shooting, you can take your turn to turn one of your systems on and then that way you can use it in the future, okay? So there are some, some small differences between the two. But we're going to be playing on the basic side today. So a typical round might play out something like this. You take a number of dice equal to the number of players plus one, and then you choose an active player, uh, at least for your first turn, and then that roll rotates clockwise around the table. By the way, your target is the person on your left, but in a two-player game, it's just going to be you know the two of us shooting at each other. So the active player takes the dice and rolls them, and then, starting with the active player, they draft one die. So if it's Ida Lee's turn, she would draft one, then I would draft one. You have one left over, that serves no purpose, okay? After you draft dice, you can choose to modify it with one of your special abilities, assuming that that system has not been destroyed yet. Here is a quick list of the different abilities that you have. And again, you've got seven abilities on the red side, which is the more advanced side. You've got uh, six abilities on the yellow side, which is what we're playing with today. So there's a periscope, for example, that allows you to flip the die upside down and use the number on the opposite side of the die. So this three would then become a four. Okay, so you could do something like that. Artillery, add a pip anywhere to the die. Now, there's something to worry about here, not worry about, but more explain. Whenever you roll a die, the value is not important, so as much as the pattern of the pips themselves. Whenever you go to shoot, after you modify a die, you're going to observe the pattern here. So if I pick this die, I have to then mark off spots on my opponent's submarine in this diagonal pattern. So think of this die as a three by three grid, and I'm marking off these particular uh, these particular pips via this pattern. So I could mark off something like, I don't know, that, that, and that, because that conforms with the diagonal pattern there, okay? So you could do something like that. And there's uh, a quick guide in the rule book as far as how that could play out and what the appropriate, or what, what the valid patterns are like in this, if you roll a three, you can use a diagonal this way or a diagonal this way, but you couldn't use the pips horizontally or vertically without a special ability. So long story short, you're going to be uh, on your second part of a turn, choosing one of your abilities and activating them. And then you'll be able to shoot using your modified die and where the pips are located. Um, yeah, once you're done with that, um, there is a new active player. They roll the dice, rinse and repeat until your opponent's sub is destroyed or you miss enough times to eliminate yourself from the game. How do you miss? Well, again, if you do not 
um, hit one of these target systems, then you have to mark off one of your torpedo spots here on the bottom right. If you are on the skull and you miss again, you are eliminated from the game, the game is over, and then everyone else that is still alive will then compare their score. And their score is basically however many hits that they got, um, plus however many spare torpedoes they still have left over. And that is their final score. So, but in a two-player game, typically it's just going to be an elimination battle, probably. All right, so that's the gist of it. I didn't go over all of the special abilities, but uh, that is the 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 core the core of the game. So let's go ahead and get started. Would you like to be the active player first? That's up to you. Sure, you can. Okay. So you roll the dice, and we'll go over the abilities as we use them. Okay, so you've got a one, five, and six. So now you can choose one of those to draft. Ooh. Um, and I'm going to zoom in more on the board here so you guys can actually see what we're crossing off. Hmm. I guess I'll choose the six. The six. I will choose the... Mm, let's go with the five. Okay, so, so people can see what you're choosing. I'm just going to put the dice like so. Mm -hmm. Now we have the ability to modify our dice using one of these abilities. Um, again... With the periscope, you can flip the die upside down. With artillery, you can add a pip somewhere to the 3x3 three three grid. Um, so with this 5, for example, I could add a pip, say, to the right of the center one, or down here, or there, or there. Okay, so I could add a pip, but I can only use that a maximum of three times, and so could she. There's a little max 3 here. Um, the next one over is sailing. Add or subtract one from the die by rotating it. So this could be a four or a six if I choose it to be. Um, these fins change your die to match what your opponent rolled. I could decide I wanted to make, a, make this a six if I want to. Um, the engine removes a pip from the die. So if you're worried about missing, you could do something like that. Um, the windows here um, align the shot into your into consecutive pips horizontally or vertically. So I could turn this five into five pips that go in a column or a row. So I could shoot five times. I might actually just do that. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use that ability to, uh, and I can only use this three times. I'm going to mark off one of them. And I'm, I'm going to make this five something I can shoot straight across. So I'm going to go one, two, three four, nice. five. And you're going to simultaneously do the same thing with your shot. Now, I have a question. What about these in the back, the tail end? What do those count as? Do, what do those you mean? count as a five or is it a three? That would, imagine it being like, yeah, that, that could be a three. They're diagonal. Yeah, so you could do a three and do like one, two, no, three. No, I, I meant like these, like if you want to hit in a column. That would be a miss. This is this is there's a space here that you cannot see. Oh, I see. Okay. So you would have if you did a column of five, you would do one, two, oh, three, wow. four, five, and miss twice. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna go here and miss once. Okay. So I'll do that. And if you also hit a spot you've already hit, that's also considered a miss. Yep. Okay. So that ends our turn. So uh, now I am the active player. Mm -hmm. I'm going to roll. Uh, one, four, four. I will draft the four, and you get to draft one of your choice. Hmm. Um. Hmm. This is tough. <laughs> yeah. I'll go with the one. The one. Okay. I am going to, um, attack. I'm not going to use any ability, I don't think. Um, I'm just going to mark off this window here. So one of your windows is completely destroyed. Yeah. So I'm just going to mark off one, one yeah. of your windows to show that I've destroyed it. Okay. Um, and you did what now? I crossed off one of these. Okay, gotcha. All right, and that ends our turn. So now you get the dice and you roll them. And you get to draft first. All right, so you've got a five, five, and a six. Some really what? high rolls here. Um, I will do the... Hmm. Well, she's thinking this is the box insert, in case I didn't show it earlier. I'll grab the six. All right, I have no choice but to grab a five. We'll go ahead and modify it now, as we want to. Um, I'm going to... Now, is this simultaneous? Like, what happens if you destroy someone's system? 
Um, again, we modify the die first. Okay. So we're not even shooting yet. Okay. So you're not going to destroy something and prevent me from using that okay, ability, good. at least for this round. Okay, that's fine. Um, so I might make this a... Hmm. I mean, you get, we're modifying at the same time, but I'm mean, technically you would get to go first. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do with this thing. Mm -hmm. um, I don't like the design of the five, but... Um, you know what, I'll go ahead and use the five as is. Um, you know what, no, I might actually use the six. I'm going to go ahead and use my one ability to turn it into a six. Uh, six. So it's going to be, this ability here just adds one to it. So I'm going to turn this into a six. Okay. I could have also used the one ability to match your die because you have a mm -hmm. six as well. That's right. So uh, are you done modifying as well? Yes, I am. I'm oh. going to put it upside down, turn it into a one. Oh, okay. I'm going to go ahead and just do uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and that's one miss on my end, so I'm going to just mark that off there. Okay. I destroyed your... Fin. Uh, what is that? Uh, big ol'... Whatever that is in the back. Is the that, third is that a fin? system? It's this one right here. Oh, it's this one here? N no, the third one. That one. Oh, this is a fin. Okay. Yeah. Right so this. I can no longer remove a pip from a die. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, I'm surprised you just didn't destroy my other window. I could have. I just, I don't know if I really care for you to be worried about. That's, it allows you to um, oh, align the shots and it can sit. Okay, so that could have been useful for me to do. I don't know. Okay. I mean, it's not going to be the first four I roll. Okay, so six, two, six. I'll take the, um, do I want the six? Or do I want, because that, that pattern there kind of sucks. Um... All things considered, let's... I could take the 6 and turn it into a 5. Um, or I could take the 2 and do like a surgical strike kind of thing. Um, you know what? I will take the... Um... Oh, this is tough. Um, I don't want to miss a whole bunch of my shots either. Um, I might take the... All right, I'm going to take the, mm, oh, come on, <laughs> this stinks. All right, I, you know what, I'll take the six and deal with the consequences of what I want to do. And then I'm going to figure out while you're drafting what I want to modify it with. I will take a, I will take a six. Okay. Um, so we both got sixes, and now we got to modify it somehow. Mm -hmm. um, I am going to... Alright, I'm going to mark off these here. One, two, three, four, five, six. No ability, um, and I get two misses. So one, two... Now, can you use two systems at the same time? No, it's you choose one system. To use for modification purposes. Alright, I'll do this, and I crossed off my miss right there. Okay, because you hit, like, okay, yeah. outside of that five. Mm -hmm. Alright, so use your consecutive row thing. Yes. Alright, so it is your turn. Okay. <laughs> Alright, uh, one, three, four. Mm hmm. And I get to choose first? Yep, you rolled, yeah, you're the active player, so you get to choose first. Mm. I will choose the three. The three, okay. I am going to choose the four, and do I want to do anything with that? It's a lot tougher than I thought it would be. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Um... Um, I could do, hmm, all right, how am I going to modify this? I guess I will, um, wow. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to... 
Maybe I'll take the one instead. This is going to be like a Hail Mary kind of thing. But I'm going to take the one, mm -hmm. and then I'll modify it so I'm, it's going to become... Well, no, because if I do that, I can't use two abilities. I'll have to use the four. That's fine. So I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm going to go mm -hmm. ahead and use the four straight up. Okay. Uh, did you decide on how you're going to modify yours? Uh, yes. Okay. So I'm going to modify, or I'm just going to attack this group here, and that destroys your windows completely. Okay. Now, does that destroy what I wanted to do? Not really, right? Or does it? Well, no. Um, again, we're simultaneously firing at this point, so you can still use your window for this round. I yeah. Imagine. Okay. So I'm gonna... your, your modify your modification comes before the shooting. I see. So I will use my my window modification thing and destroy your telescope. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So my my periscope is yep. gone. Okay. All right, and that's it. Okay. Um, is it my turn? I don't remember. I don't remember. Okay, a Does six five six. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if I like this or not. Um, huh. Um. Wow. I, that could lead to a lot of misses, I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. um, I'll have to take a six on that. Mm -hmm. Then you get to choose whatever you want. Yeah, I'm thinking. <laughs> I will choose... It is. Yellow. We'll go for Say in the six. Alright, I'm gonna keep those six as is and Yeah, I'll keep the six as is too. Alright. So I'm gonna fill in um let's go with Go straight across with that, or you know, I'll I'll tack these here, and then this is a miss here and a miss here, so that's two more misses on my end. Yeah, I also got two misses. Okay. All right, and it is your turn. You get to roll the dice. Uh, <laughs> six, five, and three. Okay. Um. I will do the three. Three. All right, so you're gonna make me... What in the world am I gonna do with that? Okay. I am going to take the five. And how are you gonna modify? I'm gonna turn this into a two All right. by pushing it down one. Okay, and I'm going to turn this into a four. Mm -hmm. I actually, I can't flip the die, but I can, I can, yeah, 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 using this, I can take it down one. So I'm gonna turn that into a four. All right, and then I'm gonna mark off one, two, three, four. I get two more misses, but your torpedoes are destroyed. Okay, I got, two of the fins, so your back fin is destroyed. Alright, so that prevents me from using your die. Which one is of mine is destroyed? My torpedo the, thing? Yeah, right there. This one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright. Now it's your turn. Um, yeah, I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't remember who rolled last time. It, I think it's your One, turn. two, and five. Um, I'm going to take the... Um, let's go with the two. I will... Mm. I'll go with the five. Okay. Cool. <laughs> um, I'm gonna use the window. 
my second of three times mm -hmm. to turn that into a straight line nice. and take out your my yeah, top part. Yeah, the top part of your sub, the hatch or whatever. Oh. I'm going to decrease this by one. Yep. That's the last time you can do that. Yeah. Yeah, no. Um, this is a five, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'll decrease this by one and miss twice to take off two parts of your of your top part. Oh, okay. Got it. So that hatch is gone? Is that what you did? One, two. Yeah. Okay. Very top part. So, wow. I'm losing systems left and right. Well. All right. You get to go now. Okay. So am I. <laughs> it's rough. <laughs> One, one, and six. Um, I will take... Oof. Mm. I'm going to take... I need lots of pips, don't I? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do this. You're gonna take, I gotta take the one. Yeah. All right, and now we can modify it. What does this thing do? It just takes it, a pip off? Yeah, it, takes, it removes a pip from your attack. I'm gonna do that. Okay. Um, I might just leave mine as is and take out this back one there. I'm going to miss once. Oh, um, because you turned it into a... Uh, you removed the I pip. I removed one of the pips. Okay. So I'll do that, and this, and so I missed once. Yep. Good. And that's it. Nasty. All right, 663. Oh um, it's kind of overkill. I'm going to take the three. <laughs> I'll take the six. Okay. Well, that's the only thing I can yeah. take. So. I'm going to use my last window ability to make this a straight line. Mm. You, wow. you have to modify. Yeah, sorry. You're fine. I was, I was if you like, want to. You don't have to modify. No, I, I do want to modify it. I'm going to use that thing again to remove a pip. Okay. So you got five. Yeah. And I'll miss... Oh, my Lord. I'll you're down to what four misses? I've got five misses, so we're we're. I have five misses left. Yeah. Including the skull. Yeah. yeah. I have six, including yeah. Oh, including the skull, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, okay. Okay. Um. All right. So I have to do five. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just gonna do straight line. Last one. One, two, three, and destroy your. That thing. Periscope. Mm -hmm. All right. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to I'll take the chance. I'm gonna one, two, three, four, five. Miss twice. Okay. So you're down to four four you got three spare torpedoes and one skull left. Yeah, and I I destroyed your that one there. The Oh, the, uh, this one. this one here? Yeah. Okay. Whatever that is. That gives you an extra pip to your die. Yeah. Somewhere. And uh, is it your turn? Oh. Yeah. Running out of systems. Four, four, and five. I will take the four. I will also take the four. And do I want to modify the four? Probably not. Um, I don't think there is anything I can do. I mean, I've only got... The one system left. But you ran out of it, right? 
Yeah, so I have to use the four as is. So I'm just going to do one, two, three, four, miss twice. You and you're destroying this part here. Yeah, that fin or whatever. Yeah. All right. And that's. And now it's your turn. Yeah. I'm going to take the one. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one spot left I need to fill in. Damn. <laughs> Well, dang. <laughs> I was so close. You don't have the right pattern. You have you have three pips, but not so the right pattern. Close, dude. Well, what system do you have left? Match Just match one, the... But I don't want to match one. Right. That ability... You could have... Had you had the ability... Damn. Had you had the ability to add a pip... Yeah. You could have taken the two and then yeah. added it to the three by three grid that way. Yeah. Changing the pattern, but... So I've got one spot left, and you're. Destroyed. I hate your roll, for the record. <laughs> that was good. That was good. So I what was did so you? Close. You were close. We were down to the wire. Yeah. You, it, you started really like messing me up late game. I was. I didn't want to focus. My mistake was I was focusing on different systems, but I, I wanted to focus on one system at a time. Yeah. But with the rolls I was getting, I'm like, I, I have to do this now, otherwise, mm -hmm. um, it's gonna screw me up later. So I didn't want to split up damage like that, but I had yeah. no choice. Yeah. That was good. So what did you think? Would you play this again? Uh, I liked it. Um, I was really excited to play this, and it really reminds me of that bullet game. Okay. Uh, because of, like, the patterns. I wish instead of dice, it was actual cards, and oh, there see. was more different types of patterns. Mm -hmm. But this is a really cool little mini game. It's more of a roll and write than yeah. a card game, but... Yeah. Um, I again, we only played the basic side. Um, on the reverse side, again, the the whole steal with this is, is the ship is bigger, a and b. There's more systems, and the systems start off. So rather than um, when you pick a die, instead of shooting, you can activate your systems one at a time, and then use them in the future. They can still be destroyed, mm -hmm. but in, in lieu of um, it's just weird because it's like prolonging the game. It does prolong it because you've got to, you know, but that's more tactical too because like, mm -hmm. okay, which shot am I going to, which, which ability am I going to use more often, you know, yeah. that kind of thing. But it is, we didn't play that one side. What's so. the top left right here, like on the advanced? Um, that I don't know. Mm. I'd have to look at the rule book. Interesting. It only adds one more. Oh, system. that's the solo mode. Oh, interesting. The the symbols here on the top. Yeah, those. That's the solo mode. Oh, hmm. that's curious. I I would have no idea how to play the solo. Mode. Well, I didn't even look at the rules for the solo mode, so I couldn't tell you. Interesting. Um, but what did you think? I mean, the components okay. are simple. Like it's just mm -hmm. it's five dice, four markers, and four boards that are dry erasable. Mm -hmm. That's it. There's no other components. Yeah. And for, for something so minimal, you know, I thought this was pretty good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. Um, I, it's very fun. I like the, the art style. Um, yeah. And I, it's very nice. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just a shame that, um, <laughs> I don't know, like, I, I wish there was more to it than what there was. But then again, if this is aimed to be at the casual gamer family, then this mm -hmm. would do for sure. I feel like there's something missing for sure. I think I, I, I don't like I love that it puts the use of the patterns of the dice mm -hmm. in the game. I think that's cool. But I wish there were more patterns. But then again, it's a small board. So right. more patterns would probably be a bit. I like the idea of the pips on the die. Like, every die face is a 3x3 three three grid, and mm -hmm. the pips on it determine where you're shooting on that yeah. grid. I like that, because then you can use your abilities to, okay, I want to add a pip over here, or I want to change the configuration of the pattern, you know? Mm -hmm. I like that. Um, I think it manages to add, you know, again, for a, such a light game with minimal components, it adds some replayability here because your next game you're not going to roll the same values so yeah. um you may go after different systems on your opponent next time there may be an optimal way to play this so that mm -hmm. you can like in battleship you know people have figured out battleship always fire in x patterns so that you know you're skipping over one and that's it mm -hmm. kind, you know i gotta wonder if there's like a meta way to play this too what systems to go after first because this system's better than this system and so on mm -hmm. like i wanted to take out this add an extra pip to your your dice as soon as possible mm -hmm. so that you didn't have that extra shot. Mm -hmm. But then I'm like, well, you know what? That's not actually too bad because that me 
high rolls typically mean you're going to miss more. Yeah. So... I actually completely forgot about that. I probably could have used that to my advantage. Yeah, I could have too, probably. But, yeah. It's funny. So there you go, folks. That was a quick look at Torpedo Dice. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I happen to publish. This is Vincent Ida Lee. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Bye, guys.